I think most of us remember when a Full Metal Alchemist game was announced back in December last year. We saw the cutscenes, wonderful animation, beautiful graphics and the action shots made it look like a fighting game. But alas, a new trailer came out and clears up what some of the gameplay will be. This is not a fighting game, it's actually a tile-based strategy RPG, akin to an XCOM or a Fire Emblem. That doesn't mean it's not exciting still, it just makes a lot more sense given that this is a mobile game. Making a fighting game for mobile ends up being a lot more challenging, simply because of the touch controls. Now, the trailer shows a lot of stuff, like many of the characters that will be playable, a lot of story mode moments, which are just still beautifully animated. I can't believe this game looks as good as it does. But we're gonna focus on the gameplay bits and break down everything we see, to hopefully make it a bit clearer what type of game this is. And hey, for more anime game updates, make sure you're subscribed. Just scroll down, click the button, it's free, and it helps me out a lot. So the first gameplay shot we get is an attack animation from Ed and his brother Alphonse. Ed starts dealing damage and Alphonse jumps in to finish the job. Notice the health bar doesn't change when Alphonse jumps in. It's not like you changed character or anything, so I believe this is mainly Ed's attack. Alphonse simply comes in almost as an assist. But how was this attack initiated? Well, the next scene shows a grid, and this is where you can see the tile-based strategy nature of this game. Ed, Alphonse and Rose stand on a grid doing battle against Father Cornello. This game will follow the original story, so this should be around the start of the game, which is why Ed is level 120. Yeah, never mind. Ed's got a few attacks on the right side of the screen. One of them uses the blade on his metal arm, which might be the same attack that we saw previously. So you move around the tiles and when you're ready to deal some damage, you select that attack and it plays an animation. An action shot. And the Alphonse assist might be a bonus attack that's currently on cooldown. Though looking at that icon on the right side, it really doesn't look like Alphonse to me. So the assist mechanic, I'm still a bit iffy on how that works. Translating this screen really fast, at the top the objective is to defeat all enemies. You can turn on on auto, as is very usual in mobile games, and you can fast forward the action. Uh, and no idea what the other two icons are, probably just menus and character bios. At the bottom you can see that we're on the second turn out of 10, with an icon next to it that looks like an undo action, which the player only has one right now. Below that you've got a button to end your turn, a button to check the danger range, which is very common in these types of games, usually you can just press a button and see if your characters are within the attack range of the opponents. Like are they in danger right now, do you need to move them away, or are they safe? because they are out of range of whatever the opponent can do. And that's pretty much it for the HUD. On the next screen we have a fight on a completely different stage with a much narrower tile system. Ed and Alphonse are battling against Bald, who is not Bald at all, that might be confusing. And what do you know, he's about to unleash an attack that will pretty much hit every tile on this stage, probably something with his machine gun. At which point two walls come up, blocking the attack in certain rows. And this is one of the most exciting features for me. The ability to manipulate the terrain in a tile based strategy game is one one of the things that justifies the whole genre being the way it is, and it fits Full Metal Alchemist perfectly. This could very well be one of Ed's abilities. One of his icons shows him joining hands together, which if you've watched the show you know that's what he does before putting his hands on the ground and making a giant wall for instance. Though these walls in particular, they happen before the fight. Maybe as part of a tutorial of some kind. As you can see right before the transition to the next scene, there's a single frame where you can see the description of your enemy. It says Bardo on the left, a description of his skill on the right, as well as the strategy suggestion by the game on how to defeat him. Because as you know, anime mobile games are made for children, we can't expect them to figure out strategy on their own, now can we? But the fact that this menu pops up probably means that the player doesn't have control over the character yet, that this is just a tutorial for now and the walls come up before you can even play, but this is an exciting feature if we are able to use it freely. We're gonna skip ahead in the trailer a little bit, they talk about some menus and systems next and we'll look at them, but let's get through the battle system first. Next we see a shot of Gene Havoc throwing a grenade, which then transitions seamlessly from action shot into the strategic view. And the size of this attack hints at an area attack, so the damage can be dealt to more than one target at a time. We're also fighting a bunch of chimeras in this scenario, so I'm hoping for some good character variety, which so far this game seems to have. Then we got an action shot of Mustang attacking a random thug, level 80 versus level 1? That doesn't seem like a fair fight. He dealt 1700 damage when the thug only had 100 HP. And to make things worse, here comes Hawkeye with an assist attack as well. Starting to feel bad for the villains over here. We've then got a shot of Winry moving around, so we can take a look at her abilities and it seems like one of them will have a healing effect, so she might be the healer of the squad. Then we have another overview shot, but this time there's no gameplay taking place, it's just a story moment, so the story will not only be told through cutscenes, it might happen in the battlefield as well. 
And after that we get a few action shots, I believe most of these are attack animations that we will see in game, and they all look awesome. The one fear I have with this style of game and attack animations being the way they are is them getting old really fast. These are long attack animations, and if every time you want to do an attack you gotta watch something like this, it's gonna be awesome at the start, but what happens when you've seen them 20 times? 50 times? It's gonna be disruptive to the pace of gameplay. That said, these games usually come with the option to skip these animations, which seems like a crime given and how good they look, but after we've seen them a lot, I'm sure that option will be appreciated. And of course, this isn't a problem with the game, it's just a concern I have right now. I'm still gonna watch them all, and I'm sure glad they look as good as they do, and especially going through story mode, I wanna see it all animated like this. But if this is something to be played over a long period of time, at some point turning those off as an option will probably be a good idea. That's it for gameplay, hopefully that makes it clear what type of game this is, at least for me this was very educational, but let's look at some menus now. What do you do outside of battle? There are a few shots showcasing different systems, first you have the story menu. You can select story chapters by flipping through different newspapers, which is a neat touch, and I like how clean these menus look. Mobile games so often look very cluttered and ugly. We do see some currencies at the top, you've got coins and gems and what I think is a stamina system. I'm usually not a fan of these mobile game mechanics, you've probably seen me rant about them multiple times times. But I've also seen many mobile games where this stuff is barely a problem. We won't know on which side this game is until it comes out. Open the first newspaper and you can see how many missions you have to do in that chapter. Very clean design, I'm loving it so far. The next screen is a bit confusing as I don't know exactly what's happening, but there are a bunch of materials at the top of the screen. And by using certain types, you can obtain these three types of memories on the right. What are memories? I'm not sure. Now at first it looks like this is this game's versions of summons, because after this animation a character shows up, but there's actually a cut in the video, so we don't know if this screen comes right after this screen. These might be two completely separate things. Either way, you got Olivia Armstrong, uh, congratulations. You can now level her up by using coins and crystals with that button down there. And that's kind of it for the trailer, there are a few more scenes that I'm not too sure where to place, maybe they're just storytelling or maybe they're bonus activities. There's a walking scene, there's a running scene, there's an alchemy symbol with a selectable mission, but not a lot for us to go on and guess what this is exactly, so I'm just gonna end the video right here. If you guys have been around for long enough, you know that I have a bias towards action and fighting games, so I can't say I I was a bit disappointed to see that this was the genre they were going for. Of course, that's just a very personal thing of mine, it doesn't mean the game will be better or worse. But this still looks exciting to me, despite this personal bias. It's doing things with its systems that make sense within the Full Metal Alchemist world, so I can't wait to see more. And if you're also excited, make sure to subscribe, we'll keep you updated whenever there's something new. Do let me know, how are you feeling about this game so far? Leave it in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching, my name's Globku, and I'll see you next time. Bye!